What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are inside of an iPhone 4S. Now, let's say that you want to create a reminder. Let's say that you want to call home at a certain time. So, what you do is that you, we choose reminders, and then on one of the lines, you just click on it and hold, and then it's going to pop up your text editor. So, let's say that you want to call home. Okay, then you come over here and you click click on the explanation point exclamation point and uh, remind me on a day we're going to slide that over so that it chooses yes and then we're going to choose the time then we're going to change this to Saturday March the 8th and we're going to change it to about 1 o'clock p.m. looks good and then we're going to click back on the date to collapse it. We want the repeat. You can come over here, you can choose every day, every week, every two weeks, every month, and every year. So every year if you want to call home, you can set it to remind you every year. So we're going to leave it as never because we just wanted to do it one time. You can also choose to remind me at a location. And so you click there and you click on location and then reminders will like to use your current location then you click on OK. And then what it's going to do is that it's going to find your location and then you can work with that. So then let's go back to details and we're going to choose not to do a location. And then we are going to come down here to the priority and we're going to set the priority to two exclamation points. That way it's going to say, okay, hey, we need to do this. Click on done and now it's going to say call home two exclamation points tomorrow at one o'clock p.m. okay now how about if you wanted to do it a different way Siri in iPhone 4s Siri became a voice that we could talk to I'm not sure about the guy on what he does but I like Siri what you do is that you click and hold down the home button and then that opens up Siri so then you ask Siri, remind me to call home. Here's your reminder. Shall I create it? Confirm. I've added it. So now Siri has reminded us to call home. Let's say that we want Siri to remind us to do something else. Let's say uh, there's a concert coming up. So Siri. Remind me of a concert. Here's your reminder. Shall I create it? Cancel. Okay, I will remind you. So, uh, I mean, there's just unlimited on what you can do. You can either go in here, if you're really fast at typing and so forth, you can type it out real quick, or you can have Siri do it. So... If there's something that happens on a special day. So let's say, uh, Siri, remind me of my birthday, February 19th. Here's your reminder for February 19th, 2015 at 9 a.m. Shall I create it? Confirm. Okay, I'll remind you. So now Siri's going to remind me on February 19th, 2015 that it's my birthday. You can also go in here and say, Siri, Remind me of my birthday every year. Siri, remind me of my birthday every year, February 19th. Here's your reminder, starting February 19th, 2015 at 9 a.m. Shall I create it? Confirm. Okay, I'll start reminding you. So now every year, Siri is going to let me know that it's my birthday. So that means I reckon Siri is going to be the first person to say happy birthday to me every year on February 19th. Pretty cool, huh? So then let's come back out clicking on the home button. And these are our reminders. We got the birthday, which is yearly, which is the one that we just did. And then we come down, we got the birthday that I did, um, the, the first birthday. And then we got the Siri for the call home. And then we've got the call home that I did. But let's say that, uh, click on done. Let's say that you don't want 
a certain reminder to show up. What you do is you come over here. Let's say I don't want the one that Siri created for home or the one that Siri created for the first birthday. But And also, I don't want to call home tomorrow. So what I'll do is that I will click on Show Completed and then Hide Completed. And what that's going to do is that it's going to hide everything that is completed. And what the completed is that if it has the little purple dot in it, that means that it is completed. So them two are not completed because this one's going to be done monthly and this one's going to be done yearly. So this is a good way to add in reminders. Like I said, if you're really fast at typing, uh, using your thumbs to type on the iPhone, then you can do it yourself. Or you can just have Siri do it. And as you can see, it's really simple and Siri catches on really quick. She gets used to your voice and to where you can actually talk to Siri and let's say that you can say something to Siri and then somebody else can say it to your phone. She's not fully going to understand the other person as well as she does you. I may be incorrect on that, but I really think that they made Siri to where Siri recognizes your voice. But I could be wrong. Either way, I enjoy it. Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net inside of my iPhone. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.